Okay, I have no idea how my hair looks. Because <laughs> my hair does not look like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to fix this real quick. As I... I forgot I put on chapstick after my shower. Uh, that kind of annoys me. <laughs> my hair. This is what happens when you put... After the gym. When you put your hair straight up to a high bun to go take a shower because you don't want it wet even though it's sweaty it'll dry within an hour though um but i'll probably keep it in a high ponytail right now we ran two miles today three miles yesterday two miles the day before that and a mile before that yeah that would take us to monday <sighs> okay we're more consistent. This week so far, we've been running every day. Uh, actually, I don't know if Sunday we did. <laughs> but the whole school week. How about that? Okay. We're, we're, um, mm. Oh, I forgot. That was going to happen. Okay. There. We'll put y'all there. As I look at myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel a knot. Okay. All right. All right. So today is Friday. So you know what that means. Weekly recap. Well, week recap. It's only the third one. Okay, so. I don't even remember what happened. Oh my goodness. Monday, we had our two classes. What happened Monday? I feel like something like major happened Monday, but I just, mm. no, that was Tuesday. Monday, we woke up like a little bit right before class, got ready, g went to class at the normal time that we got to, which is pretty impressive because I woke up later to typical uh, for my first class. We had our hour break, we went to French, and then we went to the gym to go run a mile, because that's what I felt like doing. I think Monday I actually did an arm workout and a ab workout too, um, after my run, because I forgot to do it Sunday, yeah, because Sunday I didn't end up going to the gym, I decided to sleep in, because I felt like it, and because I needed to. Uh, Tuesday. I almost skipped to Wednesday right there. Why? Because, mm, why not? Anyways, Tuesday. Tuesday was interesting because I remember waking up and getting, uh, and seeing, because I have notifications set on for my emails for school. So I saw that my class was canceled, my first one, and I was like, I was so excited to go. And I needed to go because I, even though th it would have been like a work class, like a work period, when I'm in class, I'll do the work. But that um, that Tuesday, this past Tuesday, I had to do it myself. And I was like, yeah, I got it done, but still. Um, and then we had a test, which we aced. So that was good. We were prepared, so makes sense. Um, then we ran two miles, and then we had a meeting, and then we'd finish all the homework. We had a lot of homework. We had, like, 21 assignments due this week. Next week so far is 20, and I don't even think that's all of it. I know that's not all of it, as I think of my schedule. And, okay, so that brings us to once. My week isn't as exciting as I thought it was. Anyways, Wednesday. We had all three classes. We finished at 4.15, ran. No, Tuesday we ran one mile. Wednesday we ran two. I don't even remember. Uh, 
for a second I thought yesterday I know for sure yesterday I did but for some reason I thought today was th Thursday so uh Wednesday yeah and then we got work done I seriously thought I did more this week I don't know why but it was just like a typical week of school working out and homework Thursday first period class got canceled again I don't know why I said first period it's just my first class it got canceled again and so meaning I had to finish that assignment it was due today like it's due at like midnight but I finished it yesterday because I'm like there's no way I'm going to be doing this on Friday so um and then no homework for the second class which was awesome and then after that class I ran for three miles why because I wanted to but it was a consistent three miles, no break, which was pretty impressive because that's the longest I've gone. And it was like around 28 minutes. So pretty impressive for me. Um, I did go at a slower pace so I could last all three hours. Three hours. <laughs> three miles in 30 min uh, under 30 minutes, which was... I've done it before, but I've done it before with breaks. But now that I know I could run three miles without breaks... Um, one, I'm going to push myself a little bit more, and two, I'm probably going to increase my miles now, but I'm going to keep it at a maximum of three, probably for two more weeks, and then somewhere in, like, November, I'll start doing four miles, um, but I'll probably start with, like, breaks in between, and then for the consistent run of four miles, so, yeah, we're up and that up, um, but I could run three miles in like 10 minutes per mile maybe just under 10 um so that's good because usually I could do the first mile in like eight minutes but then it starts to increase and the increase of breaks start to appear and yeah so I was very proud of myself yesterday to do three miles as I ramble on this three mile run <laughs> uh after that we ate and we did work as I do this with my hands yeah because I had four assignments I had a complete yesterday which yeah uh four yes and then today Friday first class at 9 a.m because scheduling and then last class ended at 4 15 after that we did a two mile run in under 20 minutes I think I think the first mile we did in 10 minutes the other one was like nine ish so just under 20 minutes which is good because no breaks again which I'm really proud of because that was the first time I think I one of the few times I've only ran to my straight like a handful of times without breaks so impressive um what else did I do there's that tomorrow parents are coming so that's sweet and I'll hang out the whole day with them tomorrow. So that means tonight we gotta get Monday and Tuesday's work done. Then look into the uh, Wednesdays. Um, Cause that's typically what I do. We're waking up at 6am to do laundry. So I'll get some work done then. But I typically don't cause I know myself. Um, and then we'll hit the gym at 10. And then after that we'll shower and meet up with. I will meet up with my parents. Why did I say we? force of habit why not sure and then probably go to church with them on sunday then the, then they'll drive home and then i'll go probably to the gym and do my homework because yeah education that's why i'm at college i know that sounds really sarcastic but like like i'm at college because i want to and not because i feel forced i felt like addressing that because why not um so yeah, weekly recap, that's it. If you haven't already, I don't know if it's in the description right now, but after this video is up, like 10 minutes after the live, it will be in the description. Go buy my most recent book. I know it's backwards as I look at the screen, but it's titled Born Bless, 280 Declarations for the Child, which is, it's structured for when a woman's pregnant, um, to have a hundred, 280 days, uh, the, uh, 
a full pregnancy worth of decorations to make to the child but you can also apply this to yourself um when it says um after the words jesus christ of nazareth that you my baby what you could say is that myself and then place your name inherit the holy spirit so that was like day 49 so yeah um this i am a co-author of this book the other author is my mom um, so I'll after the live is up, I'll be sure to place the book in the description. I apologize for not currently have it up, but like I said, within 10 minutes, go back to this video and it will be the first link. It will be at the very top of the description for y'all. And I highly suggest it. It's for affordable in my opinion. And in fact, um, it's just under $17. And it's really handy because this... You could use this to yourself, to any of your children, to your siblings, to your parents, even to your friends you could use this too. So even though it is, it does state for the child, it's not, its purpose could be used more than that. So I felt like addressing that because I know everyone's at, whoever is watching this is at a totally different stage in their life. And I just want to know that even though there's a, um, initial purpose of this book it could be used um more than the initial purpose and so i just feel like if you want the book you're able to and you could apply it to yourself so yeah um that's all i have for right now uh comment down below any videos that you enjoy or that you have any videos that you enjoyed that you've seen on my channel comment down below also video ideas you haven't seen on my channel or haven't recently they're like really past videos and you want to see them appear more as well as what did you enjoy about this video and if you did enjoy this be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i'm going live when a video is being posted or when a short's posted and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and we'll see y'all next time bye <laughs> we'll see y'all next time bye y'all